Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, we're public mode Monday to have. We have Sukhois, Zills, and administration buildings. Right, if you're enjoying these mods, please go to the Steam Workshop and give them a like. If you're using any of the mods, that would be really nice for the mod makers. They can then get some positive or negative feedback for their mods. We have Citizen Infrastructure Pack by Marius. Pack of three buildings for State Infrastructure tab. Quite useful for early state, uh, start of the game. Uh, we have three buildings. I'm going to leave it to you guys to... Actually, you know what? Let's read this one out. Uh, Miner School, that's a school for mining a uh, school for 180 children uh, historically uh, employing four teachers and 10 staff apprentice school apprentice school that's technical university for 96 students uh, employing five teachers and 12 staff sanatorium hospital for 75 patients employing five doctors and 15 staff uh, yeah, and uh, three ambulances. Right, so there's a description about the roleplay, where it comes from, and it's really beautiful. You have to go and read about it. Uh, I'm just going to go and cover these buildings right now. There are three different buildings. They are not even... They don't even seem to be copy of each other, because they are totally different, uh, like, roof setup and all. Looks really, really beautiful. Uh, no, I thought it was like, maybe he copied a little window here, but no. Uh, everything seems to be separated from each other. It's really, really beautiful. Um, right, uh... Let's go and cover them here. This is a minor school. This is a hospital, the bigger one. And we have apprentice school. This is this is going to be like university. Um, 96 people. That might be a little bit too much for five professors. Uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, here we have school as for a school. Uh, I'm just going to say that this is four teachers for 180 children it is a little bit understaffed i have to say that the um for the capacity that it uh, advertises i think it's uh, it, it has way few uh, teachers so maybe increasing the number of teachers or decreasing the amount of or number of kids that can attend the school probably would be the best thing to do because uh, they are quite on a small side hospital wise i think it looks perfect it can service uh, 75 patients since it's a rural rural one uh, luxury wouldn't be probably probably top requirement so it could be 75 patients but these other two buildings i would just lower the amount of uh, uh people or kids that they can service and that's it what about the price i hear you ask right the price wise we have vanilla here for 120 kids 15 uh, teachers 10,000 rubles this one is 16 price wise perfectly fine perfectly um, no issues then we have the university that will be under technical university. We have the apprentice school that has 96 uh, students, costs 18,000 rubles. Now this is comparable to the vanilla one. It's way cheaper, but it's way smaller one. Uh, I would just argue the capacity definitely should be lower because uh, five professors, I don't think they can uh, teach to 96 uh, students. So I would definitely shrink that number down, maybe even less than half. So uh, this is just my two cents. Now, uh, building wise, you can see here how much bigger building is. So construction and size wise, I think the price is fair, but the capacity it can service definitely lead, uh, seems to be a little bit on a high side. And then we have uh, 32,000 rubles for hospital. And this building is way smaller, but still it's comparable in price. So I would say that it's quite realistic in price or even more expensive. So definitely not a cheaty mod. This is really, really beautiful building. I think the only thing that it needs missing is a lower um, capacity for schools. And that would be it. But this is just my two cents. If you want to learn more, you have a link in the description of the video. We have factory admin building by Vicom. Inspired by real life administration building for heating facility in Brno. Malo Mer Merzce? Merzice? <laughs> Sorry for my butchering my check. Uh, built between 1971 and 1975, uh, works as a small technical university, 25 workers, uh, 10 professors, 50 students. Um, okay, this is a little bit uh, compared to the other one, um, to the previous mod. Um, this one has a little bit more realistic um, capacity. Uh, 25 workers, 10 professors, 50 students. Yeah, 1 to 5, I think that would be realistic. I'm not sure if Vanilla is built the same way. We're going to check it right now. Um, and also, also, this is a genius idea how to 
build up your uh, factories because you would go to this kind of school um, before you start not school this kind of institution before you start work you know you will go, go to specialize the workplace where you can learn about the trade of the work that you're doing technical university maybe it can be even a high school maybe it can be a um, high school or school interesting um it doesn't have to be university because um, i went to electrical engineering school and we had to go to these kind of places to get uh, practical knowledge and so on uh, about any anyway just an idea okay uh, so this works as a school if you you can find it in your school section if i ever find it or maybe it works as a university here we go. Uh, 32,000 rubles compared to vanilla one, it's 140,000. It's a way smaller building. And uh, capacity wise, I think it's quite realistic. This is my favorite mod, this mod Monday. And I'm going to be using it myself. Really genius idea. Anyway, for more details, you have a. Let's see the other side. Link in the description of the video. We have Storm and Zill 164 pack part 3. Now, this is just the third pack I'm presenting here, only three vehicles. There's other packs that you can download as well, but these were released in last uh, seven days. So let's go and check them out. So there's three beautiful vehicles. One of them is open hull and the other one is for pool transport and water transport. They have three tons, uh, three cubic meters capacity, which is three tons. Um, there's a description in the Russian, I believe. And also you have the Zil once medium duty truck uh, was produced in the Likhachev, uh, Lik sorry, I'm Likhachev uh, plant from 1957 to 1964. Zil 164 was the result of modernization of this, this one Five zero, and was widely used in the mid 70s you know what maybe you should read about this anyway i'm gonna leave this because this kind of gives you kind of if you want to learn more you need to go and check out the mod which i really want you to do so you can you know give some traffic to the mod maker actually right uh, beautiful vehicles they come in several different colors as you can see here uh unfortunately Liki has enormous amounts of uh, vehicles so let's go with um going directly to the source so we have the water one here for 3894 rubles compared to vanilla ones uh it is a little bit cheaper but the capacity is way 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 low so it is in a ballpark of let's see vanillas do we have any we don't have uh, this is a low vanilla but it's a little bit cheaper than that so yeah i think it's in a ballpark of, of the rest of the vehicles as well so definitely not a chidi mori fair fair price everything seems fine su24 mr by isoku uh this is su24 um, mr product t minus 6 mr it's a soviet tactical reconnaissance aircraft uh, it's designed for conducting complex all weather reconnaissance all uh, day or night at depth at depth. you know what it's a it's a it's a, a military plane that you can export it's a swept i didn't believe it's a swept wing design i will again leave you to go and read more about this plane you have a link in the description of the video but if you want to uh, have your uh, military industry up and running this is something that uh, you definitely want to have in your arsenal now let's uh, of course it's a really realistic re representation of the actual plane uh we're gonna go and check out what the price is just to compare it to other planes unfortunately this one doesn't it can carry a few tons of steel aluminium and prefab panels because it has to be classified as something and maybe maybe it can be a passenger plane that carries one passenger but anyway it is uh, 98 000 rubles Compared to any other, unfortunately, these are helicopters. Uh, let's go with cargo only. Here we go. Compared to other vehicles, a little bit cheaper, but of course their capacity is definitely way, way, way smaller. So I think it's quite realistic mod if you want to download this and uh, start making uh, little fighter jets that you can export to, well, maybe even Western countries. Feel free to do so. Link in the description of the video. Small rural house brick slash wood by Karantuki. Small rural house with self-heating made of brick, 92% quality, or wood, 72% quality for 20 workers. Absolutely perfect. This is my second favorite mod this mod Monday, uh, just because I love these small houses with uh, limited capacity and quality as well. This is quite realistic. Uh, 20, I would say that it could be a little bit... Uh, under popular because this is um th this should be more i think it should be more people living here because 20 people think about this this is 10 people uh per floor 
um, uh, you have two floors. You have a ground floor and upper floor. And everybody, if you divide this one, uh, you can see here that it has uh, six windows on one side, six windows on the other side. Like every single person would have like three, four windows for themselves, which is extreme luxury. So you either make this as extreme luxurious place or increase the capacity. I think it goes for the brick house as well. Uh, I think it's like <laughs> opposite from Chiti. It's actually quite not realistic, but um, limiting. I, because this is a worker house, you probably, and, and of course the quality of the apartments or, or living is only 72%. Um, it would be quite... Um, um, it would be kind of cramped in there. It would be like a sleeping houses, bunk beds and stuff. But no, these uh, have extremely large, uh, I think, large footprint. I think um, if you say that there's a 10 people living on the, on the one floor, and if you divide this one floor in five apartments, this would be quite luxurious and big apartments, I have to say. At least this is what it seems to me. So let's say that you have uh, three of them on one side of the building, two apartments on the other side of the building that accommodate two people each. That that would be that would be decently sized i believe anyway uh, that's my two cents on the capacity so i believe it can be increased because i probably would be like people sleeping on the bunk beds if it's workers apartments and um, wouldn't be too comfortable but this looks extremely comfortable and extremely nice of course i love the roof textures they look quite realistic and of course you can see here wood and brick version of the building now if we go to the buildings themselves unfortunately uliki is not going to be able to find them because it has so many mods uh i'm gonna go over here and here we go so we have 2,000 rubles for one of them, 4,000 for, for wooden, 4,000 for brick one, uh, which is, I believe, it should be quite realistic price because um, anything in the ballpark of that would be... Um, we have the small one here, 3,000, 33... Yeah, I, it's more expensive than this one. Uh, wait, can we find something? No, we don't have anything around 20 B. We have a uh, 33 and 12. So you can, the price is quite uh, quite comparable to the uh, vanilla. So I don't believe that this is a cheating mod at all. Compact gravel processing by Somad. Uh, this is a compact gravel processing processor that I made in a blender because I wanted to learn how the UV unwrapping and the process of exporting mods to the game. It's made purely from uh, uh, game files. I was tempted to make it uh, in mini me, but decided to name it currently. <laughs> name it currently has. The stats are based on my early mod uh, gravel processor and can be found here. There's a link to the stats, and the stats for this one are. Workers 10, quarry stone 60 import, 60 ton import, uh, gravel 41 ton export, pollution around 6 tons per year, uh, price around 40 to 50,000 rubles. Uh, I may make a building for anyway. I'm gonna leave this uh, for you to go and uh, check out the rest of the description and also link to the uh, to the other mod. Uh, here we have a smaller version of vanilla gravel processing. So let's see the vanilla gravel processing. We have it right over here here it's a little bit taller as i expected it's a little bit bigger this is just a smaller more compact version of the one i don't see anything cheaty about it it's just the same as this one just a little bit on a smaller scale i don't see any problems with this uh, i just want to check the capacity yeah this is 100 and this is double just double the capacity it does have one conveyor belt i'm not gonna need pick it's perfectly fine it does have one conveyor belt the other one has three but uh, no this is definitely quite nice and realistic um price wise well let's check if it's realistic my bad i judged it too soon 41k it's even more expensive than vanilla so definitely definitely not a cheaty mod more compact obviously higher technology as well for more details you have a link in the description of the video Residential building type, I will get to that later, by Billman007. Uh, residential building type I-99-47-406 uh, IL- or dash 65 so this is a classic uh, kind of classic uh, building uh from the p series okay i will not go into the, the details of this you're gonna have to go and read this uh, for yourself this is usually built between 1972 and 1974 um it does have 575 people quality of housing is 86 uh, percent 
so it's not too high it's not too low now i'm gonna say something about this building yeah it looks uh, more expensive than it actually is now we're gonna compare this building uh, price wise straight away um 44,202 rubles now you would think that this is a cheap building but if you compare it to vanilla buildings of the similar size or let's say that these biggest buildings that we have prefab ones let's go for here this one 189 workers it's 15,000 rubles so 15,000 rubles for this building over here uh, and it's definitely three times larger than this one and it's three times more than three times expensive so i would say that the capacity wise and materials wise comparable to vanilla one it's comparable in price we never matter but if you compare it to something bigger let's say Dnipro flats uh Dnipro flats cost 147,000 rubles um i know that even these buildings the vanilla ones uh vanilla buildings over here uh they are taller than five stories high but i always advocate in my videos that uh, every uh, building higher than five stories should have elevator and thus should have electrical and mechanical components in in the construction this might raise a price that would be a little bit more i don't know let's so call it acceptable i think it's acceptable by any means because of the size of the building uh, i think nipro is luxuriously um uh too expensive building but uh, i definitely think that this one is not but anyway this is just my two cents for more details you have a link in the description of the video I give you Moscow version 2 by Triton. Now, the whole description of the map is in Russian, so I will not go through that. I'm going to give you my usual two cents about the map. It has extensive, extensive infrastructure in place already, uh, where in most places you just need to put vehicles on the ground and you're going to be able to... Uh, do stuff <laughs> you even have some some weird constructions like this uh, it, it looks like it was a testing experimental map some of the parts don't look like they are perfectly finished so probably uh this is something that is expected from you maybe it's a post-war one but anyway it has enormous extension extensive um uh, network of uh, roads uh, railroads and everything else around it also uh, resource wise we're gonna go and cover this real quickly um this is if you want to build your own moscow or Moscow. Uh, this is what you want to play. You have uh, some resources. I'm just going to move this away. You have some resources that you can supply your uh, country, city, with everything that you need. And you have coal placed in the one position. You have iron in the same position. You have oil in the same neighborhood and you have of course uranium and bauxite there as well so you are supplied with the resources on the southeastern part of the city and then you can transport them wherever you need to i believe here we should have is this a gravel or is it something different i'm just gonna go and double check yeah this is the bedrock where you can get your gravel um gravel industry started but you can also import it there's extensive border crossings to all soviet countries and nato countries but I don't think it's going to be so, so challenging to um, get resources and money for this map, but I think building a Moscow city is going to be challenging. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Happy Monday, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.